Hello Horsey people, we are of course back with Rival Starts Horse Racing and today I am going to be breeding my best mares with just random studs from the stud market because I kind of feel like I want to mix up the colours a bit more, see if we can get anything really unique because some of our mares now look really cool. So let's get to it shall we, let's, let's see what stallions we have in the market, in the stud market here, let's have a look. So. We go breed horse. Now, the studs that are random are only 9 star. We don't have any 10 star stallions. So, if the foals come out and they're 9 star, I might have to sell them. Just because I have to have a stable full of 10 stars. It just makes sense to me. To me it does. This is a very nice chestnut stallion here. Let's see if it's pedigree. Now, the pedigree, guys, is the important bit. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay, so if you look at his pedigree... He's going to produce some pretty cool foals. <gasps> and you guys know I've always wanted to breed loads of Appaloosas. I've actually not bred an Appaloosa. I've had a like a Pintaloose with Golden uh, Princess. But that's about it, really. Uh, and he's also got some different Tobianos in the family line here. So he is a definite. Let's look at his stats a second. I will breed him with uh, my custom mares. Because then hopefully we're more likely to get a level 10 horse. So let's breed him with Aria. And see what happens, shall we? Let's do it. I kind of want to keep him as like the main stud because his his family line is really cool looking. Let's breed another one, guys. Let's do it. So let's look again. These are very nice, but they're not quite at the right level. So we know uh, Flicker Frequency is great. He's got an amazing family line. Let's check out Robots Rhythm. Hmm. Let's look at your family line. So he's got quite a cool family line as well, actually. So he's got like all these little like hidden dapples which is nice but he's also got his his grandparent here he's got this kind of tobiano shape i like his lineage but it's not quite as interesting as the other one but what we're gonna do we're just gonna refresh we're gonna spend a thousand pound because guys let's face it i can afford it <laughs> i can afford it um on a new bunch of horses oh i really like the look this one i like this a lot do you know what? i do actually like it bay i know they're pretty like common but I do like a good bay so his family line isn't particularly interesting so I wouldn't breed with him because we are breeding for colours and rare colours basically Let's see what else we got oh we do have spirit sorry spirit ooh ooh ballerina's breath uh I swear I had a horse exactly like this <laughs> I swear this is midnight but let's have a look so his family line ooh kind of interesting but kind of not do you know what guys I'm going to breed him with my black mare. I mean, that makes sense. Let's see if we can breed a black foal. We probably won't. It'll probably be something completely different. Where's black rose? Do you think this is going to produce a black horse? Let's see. Ah, let's have a look. Okay, we'll see. There's, I can't wait to see see the outcome of this, actually. Right, one more then, guys. So, um, I am going to refresh the... Oh, I really like this one, actually. Shame you're not level 9, buddy. Um, Ballerina's Breath is lovely and so's uh, Group Lollipop. But let's just change this again. Because, again, I just wanted to use really random studs. Let's check this one out. He's got... Oh, I really don't like these white faces. Oh, that's a very strange face. Is that new in the game? I have not seen that yet. Or is there, like, a double face thing going on here? Um, okay. Look at his family tree, guys. So he has some hidden... Yeah, I think he's got some interesting colours in the family. Um, he's an option. I'm not going to write him completely off because I quite like him, actually. Oh. Oh, but we have bird catcher spots. Now, I've bred this bird catcher spot quite a lot, to be fair, in the previous videos. If you guys haven't seen that, go and check it out. Oh, we do have a Dakota colour here. And we also have some other Tobianos. So, do you know what? I might chuck... I might... Yeah, I might breed with him, actually. With, um... Something that's probably carrying a really cool colour. Um, Rain, I'm going to save for another Tobiano. Let's, what's Bella's... Let's have a look at Bella's pedigree here, guys. Let's see what she's got in the line. Oh, yeah, of course. She's from two custom creations, so... Um... Okay. Maybe not her. River's cool. I don't know whether I, th I feel strongly enough about this stallion, actually. Come on, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to mix it up again. Let's check it out. Electric Bobble. What's an electric bobble? Um, ooh. So, what's going on there? They've, yeah, so this has got like speckles, dapples, but his gram, his parents aren't actually interesting themselves. But his great, the, well, his false great grandparents would would be the interesting ones. Let's check out this with the uh, 
hidden dapples here. Let's have a look at the pedigree. That's a bit better. There's like a different colour here. Again, not like striking out to me as potentially could produce something really unique. Let's have a look. Oh, I do love this like liver chestnut. Would that be liver chestnut, guys? Is it? I think it is, isn't it? Let's check out your family line. Yeah, not that great, really. You've got one that's a pin to loose at the top there by the looks of it. Let's check out this other one. So you've got bird, ca bird catcher. Bird catcher spots as well. And we've got some, we've got a flea bit in there. We've got oh, some other things. Yeah, not like particularly great. I'm being very precious about this. I am actually going to breed Vixen next because I love her. If we can get a Palomino stallion, actually, that would be really cool. Let's have a look at this black stallion here. Elephant. What's his name? Elephant Cappuccino. Slightly strange. Oh, he's actually beautiful, isn't he? Um, his family tree's okay. It's not, like, standing out to me. I mean, we could try. We could try him. But let's have a look at the other this other one. Two-Faced Turbo. Who comes up with these names? They're brilliant. Oh, okay, there's lots of spots going on here. There's some very... There's a Ribicano. And whatever this is. I'm not sure what that is. That looks like maybe a uh, splash or something. I don't know. Okay, let's go with him. Uh, let's go with Vixen and him. Let's see what they produce. I'm hoping and I'm praying that there's going to be level uh, 10 horses. Because if it's a level 9 volt. Though, if it's an interesting colour, like a really rare colour, I will keep it. So we've got Aria. We've got Black Rose. And we've got Vixen in the stable. Now, this is completely random stallions, guys. We're just having a massive breeding session. Um, able to spend my 34 million gold. So, yeah, we're just having a bit of fun, really. So guys, we're going to wait that hour, and then we're going to see you what our foals look like. In the meantime, guys, check out these horses. Look how pretty they are. If you guys haven't checked out my other videos, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of it. Because you guys, if you're following and you're like knowing where I got all these horses from, then you guys are legends. So we've got uh, three foals coming. Spirit and Rain, guys. We've just we've done a video on breeding that. I mean, how cool is that? So go and check that out if you haven't seen it. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Right, we'll be back in an hour. Bear with me. Okay, guys, we've waited that hour. And I'm so excited to just breed as many mares as we can and different stallions and have a complete session of random foals. I think it's going to be so fun. So first batch, here we go, of breeding all my mares. Oh, do you know what? I'm actually kind of excited about that because I haven't had a chestnut in absolutely ages. Oh my gosh, it's level 9. This is what I was warning you guys of. This is what I was warning you guys of. Um, so this is level 9. This is level 9. Oh no. Okay, let's skip to the mercy, what she looks like as a adult. So this is what I was worried about, getting level 9 horses. Oh, how annoying. Because if she was level 10, because I don't have a chestnut at the moment in the stable block. Wow, and she's like proper chestnut. She has very scary eyes though, so I probably won't keep her. If you look at her face, her blue eyes are absolutely terrifying. So we're probably going to sell her. Let's go and have a look at the next foal though, shall we guys? Let's do it. Okay, you guys ready? Because <laughs> it's Aria's foal as well. Please let it be level 10. I think it should be. Oh, it's really cute. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Please let it be a pure black horse. Why are we not getting any spots yet? It's a level 10. Yes, skip to mare. Um, I'm actually going to keep her, guys. And a reason for this is because I think she'll breed better foals than her mum. Let's have a look. Let's call her... Uh, oh, I don't know what to call her. Oh, no. She's really cute. Let's call her... Let's call her Danny. That's a really terrible name for a horse, but it'll do. It'll do. Why's my computer gone away? Here we go. Oh, she's pure black though. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, I'm happy with that. <laughs> but we already have quite a few black horses. And you guys were saying that it's like nearly impossible to breed black horses. But let's just look at Danny's uh, lineage a second. So this is level 10 at least. Pedigree. See, that's crazy, isn't it? It's, it's, that's that's crazy. Um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to keep her, but we're going to sell one of my other black ones. We're going to sell Raven, I think. Ooh, do you know what? I'm going I'm to sell Raven now. I'm sorry, Raven. The decision is made. Because I feel like I just want mares, really. And the odd special stallion. So some of them are going to be on the line, I think, here. Oh. Okay, Vixen. Do you know what? I don't think I've bred anything from Vixen yet. Or have I? I don't think I have. Let's go have a look, then. Let's see what she's got. Ooh. 
Oh, it's another chestnut. Cute. It is cute. Don't you think that's cute? Is it a fillet? And it's a level nine. See, I've got a theory about this. If the horse isn't trained through the racing, uh, if the horse, well, the mare isn't trained up to the top, then she's going to produce level nine. If she's a le ten star but not trained, she's going to produce level nine. If she's ten star and trained, she's going to produce a ten star. I think that's my theory. That's my theory. So guys, we're going to do a whole load of videos on tutorials on how to breed different colours. I mean, I think half of it is luck, because I don't think the game's particularly scientific. But, eh. Done! Yeah, okay, cool. Let's look over here. Trout Teapot. Really? Is that your name? Okay, I don't like those scary eyes. If you guys remember, I had a horse like... I think it was Vital Laughter, who was now Specs. Bex's daughter was bred and it was like bright blue eyes, absolutely terrifying. So we still have two empty horse stools, so that's okay. Oh, look how pretty my horses are. Okay, let's get to the last foal here. I think I'm happy with the horses I've got. I'm going to have to like, I'm going to do a video on my completed stable because I think my stable is going to be pretty complete soon. Um, oh, was that all of our foals? Am I being really stupid? Let's have a look. Let's just look through this. That was all of them, and there was nothing we wanted to keep. Oh, apart from our black one. Okay. Right, we're going to breed horses then. We're going to breed our new black one. That's what we're going to do. So let's go find her. And we called her Danny. I mean, it's a terrible name for a horse, but it'll be fine. Um, It's like somebody actually had a horse. Somebody I knew had a horse uh, called Ian. I mean, that's not a name for a horse, is it, really? Um... I'm riding Ian today. I mean, that's... <laughs> hmm. No, not great, not great. Uh, Danny and not Spirit. We're not going to breed with Spirit because we bred with Spirit loads of times. We're going to actually use random stallions here because I want to see what different coat patterns we get. Oh, I'm just going to... I'm going to mix this up a bit. Let's uh, let's look some new ones. Well, some of maybe want a Palomino, you know. Oh, boom. As I just asked for it. Fjord Universe. Cool name. Yeah, I like the Rubicano thing because I haven't actually had it in ages. Like, I used to breed this colour a lot. <gasps> Look at the pedigree, guys. Yeah, right, I'm all over that. Let's breed all my horses with him. Let's see what we get. I think it's going to be a level 9 horse, though. My theory is because I haven't trained Danny, so I think she's going to produce a level 9. Let's put it with um, two of my custom mares. Let's put him with another stallion. So let's uh, let's go for Fjord Universe with all of them. They have to be trained to get the level 10. That's my only my theory. Let's go Silver Fox here. Let's see what we get. There is that coat pattern already in the Stallion's lineage as well. So the chances are quite high that we might get that colour coat. What do you guys think? I think we're going to get it. I think it's going to be cool. Okay, Silver Fox. Who was the last one to breed? So we've got another breeding space here. So let's go for it. Just breeding all my mares today, but the trouble is I've got to remember who I've bred and who I haven't. Who's the other stud? Should I try a different one? I do like this stallion mind. Let's go for a new one. Okay, dapples I like. What about this one? So we've got two chestnut stallions on offer here at level 9. Hmm. Okay, no, not great family tree, so we're going to come off that. Let's check out the other one's family tree. Not the end of the world, because we'll just shuffle them. If not, we'll just shuffle again. Mm, no, nothing standing up there. I should have kept the Palomino. I knew I should have. Let's just have a look. Oh, oh, there's another Palomino here, guys. Let's check out Knight's Popcorn. And he's called Popcorn, and he has this weird face. So it might be a good sign. Uh, what colour is this and this? <gasps> okay, um, I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Uh, let's try Amateur Rain. What's your family tree like? Because it's, it's the grandparents you've got to watch out for. No, he hasn't got that great... Uh, family line either. Let's go with this one. Let's see what we get. Let's breed him with... I need something that's trained up. I mean, Rain? Let's go Rain. Okay, let's do it. So Rain, I haven't bred Rain with anybody other than Spirit so far, so we'll see. That could be good. We could get a really cool colour, coloured foal here. So we've got Rain with that Palomino Stallion. We've got Silver Fox with the other Palomino Stallion. <laughs> Then we've got Danny with, I can't remember who, because I have short-term memory loss, it seems. So, there we go, guys. Right, we're going to wait an hour, and then we're going to have some new arrivals. In the meantime, though, actually, I'm just going to scooch over to here. I'm going to sell some. <gasps> yeah, I'm sorry to do this. I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell somebody, I think, just to try and make room. Oh, gosh, I can't do it. I can't do it. 
I just really like all the ones I have now. This is why I'm thinking about just completing the stable and opening up the new account. Now, if you haven't, guys, been following, I've been doing the levels. So just showing you guys how I've managed to get through the different stages to end up with this maximum level 20 up here. So um, Bella's interesting, but she's not, like, overly interesting. So she might go. I don't really want to set any of those. Um, yeah, so if you haven't seen it, you'll, you'll see that I've got another uh, sort of game on the go i suppose and we're trying to get to level 20 i'm going to show you guys how to get to level 20 and in the process we're going to be buying and selling horses and once i've completed my stable on this game and i don't want to sell any horses then i will be starting on that that account really so yeah it's all exciting so here we go guys these are all my horses i don't really want to sell any of them but i do want to train them all eventually so the level 10s are all level 50 i mean that's going to be hugely exciting so Right, guys, we'll be back in an hour to see some more foals. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Woohoo! Okay, guys, we've waited the hour. Let's see what foals we got. So I have bred pretty much my favourite mares. <laughs> so silver fox, of course. What are we going to get? Let's do it. What are we going to get? <gasps> oh, good lord. What do I do with myself? See, I told you guys. I knew she was going to get this pattern because... Ah, because the great granddad of the stallion also had the... <gasps> but, there's a big but here, guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a level 9. No, that can't stay in our stable. It's a bit of a gamble, obviously, when we're breeding with level 9 starred horses, but... Oh, she's really nice. But she hasn't... I mean, she is nice. She's got a nice... But we have this coat pattern quite a lot. A lot. And I prefer black... Uh, Captain Jack Sparrow, the black one, and I prefer the uh, Vixen, who we're going to rename, by the way, because I cannot stand that name. Uh, so some of you guys have suggested some really cool names, so we're going to rename her in a minute. Uh, it's a shame, really. I mean, she's really nice. Dakota's cool as well, because he's he's got, like, a brighter chestnutty colour. So, oh, I wish I could sell this to, like, one of you guys, because then I could give you guys the colour. But I don't know how to do that on here. I don't think you can, can you? I'm actually going to try the mobile version soon, guys, because I've realised I can get it on my iPad. So I'm going to try it, because also this is the desktop version. You guys reckon the mobile version is a lot trickier, so uh, I'm going to give it a go and see what happens. Danny's our new horse, so I'm going to save that one to the end here. Right, Rain, are you ready, guys? This is the first time we've bred Rain with somebody who isn't Spirit. Let's find out. Spirit doesn't look too happy about that. Guys, guys, it's level 9, but I don't care because I think I'm going to breed from it anyway. <gasps> okay, I don't want to do it myself. Okay, it's a level 9, but as one of you guys actually suggested, like, keep, even though, yes, I know it's level 9, which isn't ideal. Well, I'm going to rename her. What are we going to call her? Uh, you guys said, why don't you just, like, breed? I could breed her with, like, my level 10 stallion, and hopefully we'd get this coat pattern, but a level 10. I think we'll, we'll try that. Uh, sorry, but my new horse is absolutely gorgeous. This foal is amazing! I, I do think breeding with these, like, different stallions, you're going to get better coat patterns. So I'm pretty chuffed with her. So I tell you what, we're going to breed with her, uh, with uh, another stallion. But I think I need it probably with one of my stallions. Captain Jack! Well, it might be Captain Jack. We'll see. Um, might even be Spirit. Not sure yet. We're going to breed her with one of mine, I think. Just so we can make sure... Or at least try to get a level 10 horse. We'll try, we'll try. Okay, Danny, this is a level 10 mare. Um, so, ooh, we could end up with a level 9 horse again. This is the only issue I'm having. Oh, you are too cute. That is really cute, actually. Oh, I probably won't keep her, just because she's not, like, overly unique. But let's see what she looks like as a mare and... Let's see, guys. Let's see. I haven't named any of these yet, if you've noticed. I will keep that one really unique one. Oh, my goodness. She's actually beautiful. Oh, she's so pretty. But she's only level 9, so we'll probably... Oh, she's like a like a pearly colour. What would you call that? Like, not Cromello, is she? Or is she just a grey and I'm blind? I don't know. I mean, what do you guys call that? But she's nice. I'm, I'm happy with that. So, um, yeah. All right. Not too bad. I will sell... Soul Samurai, just because I won't want to do it otherwise. So we've kept one of our foals out of that bunch, just because it's a really cool colour. Like, I've never bred this colour. Let's just have a look at our family tree a second. Where's this colour come from? 
Then it's a grandparent. Let's have a look. Yeah, there it is. It's the granddad, isn't it? That's where that colouring's come from. You guys notice this horse here looks a lot like my horse near plant that I had, who was also a really great producer of unique foals. Yeah, I know. Maybe somebody do that half face thing. I don't know. Okay, guys. Why does Captain Jack look so cool? Sorry, but he's just wicked. I'm going to make him on The Sims 3, I think. Do you guys want to see me play Sims 3? Making horses? I spent ages the other day actually uh, breeding. Well, not breeding, but uh, making my own farm. I spent about three hours on it. Do you know what I did? I didn't save it. Nope, I didn't save it. <laughs> I wanted to cry. Uh, oh, hearty circus. Let's have a look here. So we're just using like random stallions. Like, oh, I think this pattern's going to come through on the fold. I've got a good feeling. So I might breed rain with this one. Let's have a look what other one we've got. We've got this uh, chestnut going on here. Check out the pedigree. But yeah, I've been like thinking about other horse games, what I want to do. I've been doing a lot of racing games. I suppose there's a lot of free apps on the iPad and things that you can get. There's some good ones on there, but I'm definitely going to try and, well, definitely going to show you, you guys the ones I've been playing since I was like a little kid as well. I still play now. <laughs> oh, I just don't grow up out of them. Okay, let's have a look. So I think, let's breed him with rain because i think his dad is going to produce like a similar color to rain they're both like a nice sort of um skewballed skewballed type let's have a look at this it might be a level nine though this is the risk that we take this is the risk that we take okay let's go on to the next let's breed our next horse okay guys some of these uh, lower level ones are quite nice but obviously i don't want to like risk it in an even lower level so we know those two stallions, so let's just refresh. Ooh, I do like a Palomino, I don't know why. And this Ribicano colouring on the Palominos tend to be quite popular in the game. Have you guys noticed that? I have. Um, okay, this looks like the Pintaloose colour that is similar to Romeo and Golden Princess. Because I feel like this one would come through. Let's go back a second, let's have a look. Let's see what the other one looks like. Oh, we've got level 10 spirit. Oh, we're not going to worry about, like, yeah, 10 star or not. If it's 10 star and it's a cool colour, great. If it's not, it's not. I'm going to breed with this one, actually, guys, because look at this unique colour here. This looks like that weird Sabino type. Is that what you'd call it? Or a splash marking, isn't it? I don't know. I would like an Appaloosa, to be honest, because I... It's, well, since the start, very, 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 very start of the game... Uh, I had loads of Appaloosas, like it was mad. This was before I started filming my gameplay. Uh, this was before I started filming my gameplay. Uh, let's go with Golden Princess and see if this like Tobiano colour comes through. Not Tobiano, Pintaloose, you guys know what I meant. Yeah, so um, uh, yeah, I was playing this game, what, gosh, ages ago and absolutely loved it like I, I absolutely binged it in about a week which is really terrible of me it's naughty but um yeah the the starting horse i had on this account this one here was an appaloosa so i got quite a lot of appaloosas through through the game oh my gosh look at this one <gasps> look how cool this one is oh you are beautiful but you're only level six i'm afraid oh i like him he's so shiny so shiny uh, let's just refresh this as well because uh, let's see what else we get. Now I'm not overly fussed about these bird catcher spots because well I've had loads of them for some reason. Oh this is like a great we see him a lot but let's look at the family tree. Mm, I think it's either these two that stand out more I think. Card caper looks quite alright but let's check out the other one. If I'm not happy then I'll just refresh again. Fly widget what a silly name. You guys, because uh, I asked in one of my previous videos <laughs> what names, like what weird names, and one of you, I can't remember, who was it? I'm going to have to look it up, but somebody left a comment with what their horse was called. It made me laugh so much. I'm going to go and have a look and see if I can find what that was called, actually, because it really made me laugh. Um, have you guys had any other weird names? Because, oh, that was funny. really made me laugh. Whoever commented, just say again, because it did make me laugh. Uh, I am going to breed with this one actually guys because look at the grandparent here. This is a nice colour. I like this. Okay. I'm going to breed 
I mean, if we breed too many spots, it could end in having more of those, like, sparse spot things. So I'm actually going to go with a plain coloured horse. Let's look at Bella's lineage a second. I think she's out of two custom creations, which means we don't have much in the way of predicting the colours. But what about River? Let's have a look here. Just want to make a bit more in the family tree. Yeah, let's go with her. Hey, look who it is, guys. It's near Blant. Told you about him. He used to breed me some cool foals. Okay, uh, River and Fly Widget then. Let's do it. I like River. She's cool. I don't breed many greys, so she was wicked. Oh, we've run out of stables for this session. Ah, oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm going to do a video, actually, guys, on like what we'd like to see with the future of Rival Stars Horse Racing. What we like about the game, what we don't like about the game. Um, yeah, so comment below, guys, because I'd like to sort of do a whole video. I mean, who knows? Uh, the, the creator's pickpock might actually see it. Who knows? I mean, I highly doubt it. But it's worth, like, being positive about it. Okay, guys, so we've got Golden Princess. We've got River. We have Rain here. So we've got some pretty cool-looking horses uh, with some foals on the way. So we'll, we'll be back in an hour to see what babies we get. Okay, guys, we've waited the hour. So here we go. Here's our foals again. So who should we start with? Golden Princess? Or shall we start with River? Or shall we start with Rain? Let's go River. Let's start with River. Okay, guys, you ready? What are we going to get? If it's level 9, I'm going to be a little bit sad. But if it's a cool colour, I'm not going to be sad. Oh, cute. It's just a little bay. It's a really cute little bay, to be fair. It's only level 9. We seem to be getting all level 9s. Why is this? I want the level 10. Let's just skip him straight to Stallion because, um, no, we're probably not going to keep him. <gasps> Ding dong merrily on high. Okay, wrong season. Should not be singing that. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, that's a nice bay, actually. I do like him. But not what we want. Look how cool this horse looks. We're going to breed her, actually, in a minute and see what happens. Hee <laughs> hee. Sorry, buddy, but you're going up for sale. You're already cute, but you're not what we're looking for. I do love a bay, I must admit. I do like bays. I know they're quite common, but I do like a bay. Right, um, let's go rain next thing, guys. You ready? Rain's second of a foal with, a, with somebody who's not spirit. <gasps> I'm gonna cry. Okay, and it's level 10. It is a cult. Do you know what would be cool? If they had, like, a magic potion where you could turn it into a girl. So I could have this turned into a filly. I am overly chuffed with that. It does mean, however, let's call him Buzz. Let's call him Buzz Lightyear. Yes, Dis we need more Disney themes. Light, yeah. Buzz Lightyear. Um, so uh, he's the first Tobiano I've bred. Oh my gosh. So he's got Rain's pattern, hasn't he? Is that right? He's got Rain's pattern, but then his dad's colour. We'll go check out his um, family tree. Let's check out his family tree. Oh, he doesn't like the name Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I knew this like pattern is coming through. But actually, it's Rain. It's actually Rain, isn't it? That's that the colours come from. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's set him a stud, actually. As I said to you guys, I really wanted more... Toby aren't like patchy horses so uh, we'll wait we're gonna breed because we are breeding all of our mares today with random studs that was kind of the aim of the game so let's go we've got one more to do so that was highly successful guys have we run out of stables is that what that means or is that all of them I'm so confused oh here we go golden princess what you got what you got for us I've got a good feeling about this <gasps> I was right to have a good feeling. Oh my. Okay, guys, what do I do with myself? I think this is the rarest horse I've ever bred in my life. <gasps> okay, so he's got like this black all through here, and then he's got like brown legs while being a pinta loose stripe thing with a nice little white face. <gasps> it's only level nine. Oh no, this is the issue now. This is the issue. We've got to sell one. Oh no. This this is tough. This is tough. 
We've got some really cool looking horses now. Who do I sell? Guys, comment below. Who do I sell? Do we sell Danny? Do we sell Texas? Should we sell Texas? Texas is going, guys. Oh, that's painful. Texas is sold. <gasps> I mean, it's getting that dire now. Or we're getting that many cool colours through, guys, that, you know... The, the ones that I thought were cool aren't, aren't like standing out anymore. We're not going to call this Dreamy Ball. This is going to be called Riv... Riviera. don't even know if that's how you spell that. I'm a little bit uh, stupid when it comes to spelling. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Ooh, this is so what does it look like? <gasps> oh, I like it a lot, but it's only level 9. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna breed that one with a level 10 stallion. And hope that we get maybe this coat pattern. But with, um... Yeah, so tell you what, I'm gonna breed the these ones with this guy here. They're only a little bit inbred, so we'll be fine. So let's go to farm stalls. Oh my gosh, guys! I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't know what to do because we we've got so many awesome looking horses now. This is crazy. Oh, I like you. You're very nice. You're a very nice black horse. I like this horse. This is nice. His family trees. Full of greys. Ooh, there is a rumour, isn't there? Two greys. Let's have a look. Make a black horse in the game. Is that right? Is that right, guys? I've bred three black horses in the time that I've been on the game. Was it four black horses? I can't remember. So that's definitely gonna be a uh, definitely gonna be a ten star horse horse if I breed with this guy. I'm just gonna breed my three new ones. Actually, we're gonna breed. Where, where have they gone? Danny. So that's definitely going to be a level 10 horse. That, that's good. We know that. So that's cool. If we can get like a patent horse out of that, that'd be wicked. Breed horse. Oh, this is like actually so sad because they're level 9s, which is a teeny bit annoying. Let's have a look. So, uh, yeah, look how cool this horse looks. Um, And then we'll breed with our new stallion, this guy, and see if we get some cool patterns. I mean... The chance of getting a level 9 is slightly higher than the chance of getting a level 10, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see. We've, we've really run out of room now, though, guys. I think I'm near perfect with this stable yard. So once I've completed the other game that I'm currently showing you guys the levels through, um, then we'll start again. We'll, we'll start breeding and getting custom horses through and different patterns and trying to breed for really rare colours, that kind of thing. So don't you guys worry. We'll, we'll be... Uh, We'll still be breeding horses on Rival Stars. And also, we're back with breeding all of my mares. Breeding all of my mares. So, let's have a look. We have some foal left to go and catch. To uncover. We're going to see what foal we have here. You can see what we get. The last batch we've had has actually been really, really good. So, I'm really excited about this. Okay, so Danny is our new black mare actually from a third generation horse so let's see what she gets <gasps> oh my gosh okay what do i do now though guys what do i do because we've literally just bred it and sorry guys i'm just going to plug my laptop in that's why it's all sketched out on me because it just can't seem to handle not having it plugged in um this is absolutely insane so this is the sort of colour I'm definitely after. Okay, so I'm, I'm super chuffed with that. That is very different. Oh, it's a stallion. Okay. Guys, we've got to sell a horse. Oh, no. I might sell one of my grade nines, but they're two, like, really interesting colours. I kind of feel like he's very similar to this one. Uh, but he was the dad, of course. Um, who are we going to sell? We might sell... Some of you guys have said to sell Vixen. I might even sell... Riviera is nice, but... Might sell Riviera, but she's expecting a foal. So we're nearly complete on our stable, guys. This is crazy. Okay, I'm going to sell Bella. I'm going to do it. She's just a grey. She's a very pretty gay. Gr gay? Grey. Okay, let's have a look. Very pretty grey. Yeah, let's skip him to Stallion. What does he look like as a Stallion, guys? Pixie's Prophet. We're going to find a name for him. 
I'm actually going to end up selling most of my horses and um, only keeping one stallion, I think, guys, which is going to be torture. But I've not had this colour before. I've not had this colour before. This is absolutely wicked. Ah, okay. Are you ready for Riviera's Foal? I think this is going to be good. If it's not level 10, it's going to go, I'm afraid. Uh, that stallion does look a bit weird with the blue eyes, actually. I might sell him. Because he's very similar to his... <gasps> Oh my gosh. It's the same sort of cape pattern as um, Princess, Golden Princess, but it's a nicer sort of shape. Oh, it's only um, level 9. It's very similar to Riviera, to be fair, but that's actually gorgeous. Who are we going to sell? I'm going to sell the one with the, the stallion we've just bred, I think. I'm sorry to do it, guys. Where's he gone? Just because uh, we've got him already. Uh, Buzz Lightyear is what I called him, but the game doesn't like that. Pixie's Prophet. We are going to sell P Pixie's Prophet. I do like the coat. We haven't bred that colour before, but I'm not a big fan of those blue eyes. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I feel really bad for that. If, he's, if he was a mare, then it'd pro probably be a different story. So let's just skip this to Stallion. Oh, I'm really gutted that it's only level. he's only level 9 because he's a really cool colour. Do you think he's going to go black or, or like a brownier colour? Oh, he's really nice. He's like um, he's like a grey. And he's a boy as well, isn't he? So I think what we're going to do, we will sell him. Even though that is heartbreaking because that is such a unique colour. That's actually heartbreaking. So let's just sell him. We've got one more foal to get yet, guys. So we'll, we're going to discover what the third foal is. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's go back. Right, we have one more foal from Instant. Now, I'd be interesting because this mare is really rare. And as you can see, I don't normally keep level 9s, but I've not bred anything like her yet. Uh, so hopefully her foal is going to be just as interesting. Hmm, interesting. So he's he's cute though, isn't he? I just think they're really cute when they're born. Um, And it's only level 9. So we're going to skip her, skip to mare. Confirm. Where is she? Is she a Ribicano? Ribicano? Was she? Or is she just Bay? She's got a bit of Ribicano on the go. Yeah, she's nice, but not like unique enough that I'd keep her, you know? Ah, oh, so a little bit disappointing through there because uh, I don't want level nines. Riviera is actually beautiful. <laughs> it's really heartbreaking that I. Oh. So I don't want to risk having level nines, really. So I tell you what, I'm going to breed. Um, all my level 10 mares for a minute with my stallion with that that stallion I have for stud because he's so cool looking um I'm gonna breed him with specs so it's definitely gonna be a level 10 guys because you can see by how much they charge you if it's that 600,000 pound then it's gonna be a level 10 I reckon it's my theory now why would we want this oh maybe my theory is completely wrong here Cool, okay, let's just have a look here. Aria, Candy, Silver Fox will be interesting, I think. Golden Princess. Let's go Golden Princess, guys. They're kind of the same, like, they're very similar. So we'll see what happens there. But if we get any new, new I can't say that, new unique, how hard is that to say? Horses, then um, we'll sell them. We'll replace the, the like, level 10s with the level 9s I have, because no, I don't want to keep any level 9s, I'm sorry even though they're really unique looking yeah let's breed him with Vixen come on Vixen, should I breed him with Vixen or should I breed him with I kind of feel like Danny produced a really cool horse last time, let's do that okay okay guys we've got three new foals on the way from three beautiful mares so yeah this is exciting, okay we'll be back in an hour Okay guys, we're back breeding all my mares. We've waited an hour and Golden Princess. Let's see what she's got. Are you ready guys? Let's do it. Oh, Level 10? Yeah. Oh dear. Let's just, yeah. I'm I, I'm happy with that. But who are we going to sell? She's a, pa she's alright. Palomino, Palomino? Palomino with uh, dapples. Let's sell available admiral, which is sad, I know, but because this is actually the first Rubicano I've bred in ages. Okay, let's skip her to mare. What's she gonna look like? Is she gonna go lighter or darker? Do you think? I'm gonna keep her though, guys. I think we're gonna call her 
Oh, guys, I need name suggestions. You guys come up with so many. Let's call her Gloria. Gloria. Okay, let's call her that. That's kind of a cool name. What's she going to look like as an adult? Let's do it. Oh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm chuffed with that. She's got blue eyes, mind. I don't normally like the blue eyes. You guys know that. You guys know I'm not a big fan of the blue eyes, but she is pretty. Yeah, oh, look at Riviera, guys. She's cool. Shame you're just a level 10, otherwise you'd be perfect. So our new stallion is doing really well with the foals so far. Danny, Danny's one of our new mares. She's one of our new black mares. So I won't keep all the black horses. We've got three at the moment. Oh, that's really cute. That's really cute, but I don't think we'll keep her. Because I think she's... Oh, him! Yeah, we probably won't keep him, actually, guys, because he's a stallion, isn't he? We're going to sell one of my... Great... Ooh, one of my stallions, I think, is going to go. Should we sell Vixen, or is that just torture? Romeo, we kind of already have this colour, because I want one colour of each, eventually, if you know what I mean. Riviera, we'll sell Riviera. Oh, this is painful because Riviera is actually gorgeous. But we do kind of have her colour already in Golden Princess, but obviously as a Palomino. Ah! Right! Okay, guys. Skip to stallion. Skip to stallion. Confirm. Let's have a look then, guys. Yeah, just a plain bay. That's quite a nice shade of bay, actually. I've not bred that colour before. But still just a bay. No interesting patterns or anything. So we probably will sell him. Keeping Gloria. Gloria is cool. I do not want to sell this horse. It's a shame, shame she's level 9. If we can breed her with a level 10... And try to breed level 10s, that'd be awesome. <gasps> Saving the best to last, though, guys. Are you ready? Aria, what have you got for us? Let's go have a look. Oh, it's a mini Aria. Yes, the day has come where we had a mini Aria. Ha <laughs> ha. Skip to Matt. Okay. Oh, we've got to sell a horse. Okay, we'll sell that stallion, guys. Let's do it. Okie doggy. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Silver Fox, let's sell. Who are we going to sell? Sell this one. Yep, let's sell you. Okay. Right, let's skip. And she's a filly as well, so that's made me so happy. Aria bred a mini me. What should we call her? Uh, I kind of want to go with something musical, Melody. Let's go with Melody, because um, Aria is like musical, isn't it? Aria is musical, so let's go with a Melody. She just. Oh my gosh, she's actually like the grey Virgin. oh i'm yeah I'm, I'm speechless i'm speechless and she's level 10 as well so she's perfect <gasps> you guys know what's coming next we're gonna breed actually i'm gonna breed instance let's change her name a second because i want to try and breed this pattern but i want to kind of breed this pattern at level 10 let's call her dusty no let's not call her dusty let's call her um something really cool something royal royal Royal. It's not really a name, I know, but um, her pedigree is really cool. She's got rain and knight's popcorn, and, so, and that's definitely come from there. That pattern. So, um, if we breed a foal, hopefully it can be level ten. Hopefully. So here we're gonna breed. We're definitely gonna breed our two new mares, guys. Oh my gosh, so exciting. Because um, we are gradually sort of running out. I suppose. I suppose we have a lot of horses like specs now. So. <laughs> We have a lot of these. Ah, oh, Rain's really cool, isn't she? Golden Princess is called Gloria. And the glory, the glory of the Lord. Okay. Um, should we breed with him or should we try a different stallion? 
Should we try a different starting? Come on, let's try a different starting. Of my bunch, because I want level 10s now. So, um... Who should we use as our stud for a while? Romeo, Dakota. Dakota's cool. We could get Dakota going again. How many stallions do we have? We have Spirit. Oh, I know who I'm going to use. I know who I'm going to use. Of course. He has a uh, good lineage as well, actually. Let's just check that out. I'll show you guys his family tree. He hasn't got a huge one because he's from two custom creations, but... That pattern might get bred, which I kind of didn't want to breed too much of the pattern, if you know what I mean. Uh, oh, I'm on here again now. But let's just go to false stools. Let's breed again, so that'd be wicked. Let's breed with him. We haven't bred with him yet, so we'll see what happens. Oh, we're going to run out of stables. I think this might be the last batch we do, actually, guys, just because... I'm pretty happy with all my sal all my salads, all my horses. So so far, yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with what we've got. So Gloria, let's go for it. That could be an interesting combo. I mean, we already have Vixen, who is like a Palomino version of Silver Fox. So uh, if that comes out, then we'll swap them. Okay, Captain Jack. He looks so cool, doesn't he? Uh, let's go with our other new mare. Let's find her. River's cool. I might breed him with River actually as well. Black Rose is cool. Danny's cool. We don't need two black horses though, so either Black Rose or Danny's gonna go. I prefer Danny because of the white face. It reminds me a little bit of Black Beauty. Melody! Melody's cool. Melody's really cool. Kind of bred mini Aria's mini me. Okay, let's go again. Third one and final foal of this batch of breeding, I think, guys. So Let's go out with a bang. Let's go out with something really, really rare. That'd be wicked. Should we breed him with rain, or would that just be disastrous? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who are we going to breed with today? The black horses do produce really cool horses. Uh, let's go royal. <gasps> yeah, we're going to get level 10. Look at the money. Look at the money. Okay. I think we are anyway. We'll see. I really love this coat pattern. I don't want to sell her, because she's like the only horse I've had that I've bred that colour. So we've got some cool looking mares on the go here, guys. So let's be back in an hour and see what we get. And this is actually going to be the last bunch. Or should I just... Because it's the last bunch, should I just skip? Yeah, come on, guys, let's just skip. So let's start with you, because... Let's just skip, let's just skip. Come on, guys. I've got money. We can make money again. Okay, unbelievably plain. But that's okay. Still level 10. Let's just... Okay, skip. Oh, who are we going to sell in replacement of this, though? Weird. Weird. What do I do? Not selling River. Not selling Candy. Could sell Vixen, I suppose, because we do have this colour a lot. Hmm. Romeo. Oh, Romeo's a cool colour. I might... S Black Rose is cool. Let's sell Danny then, guys, because Black Rose was the one that was here first. Danny's actually gorgeous. Look at that shade of black, though. It's really nice. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, that's cool. Let's skip you to my... Oh, hang on. Hold the phone. She might be a Ribicano. Hold the phone. Yeah, okay, maybe we might keep her then. If she was like a Palomino Ribicano, then that'd be really cool. But we could breed from her and see what foals we get, actually. Why don't we just do that now? Let's just go foal stalls. While we're here, it does mean it's going to give me limited choices as to who I keep and who I who I uh, sell. Whoa, what's happened to your mane? That's kind of cool if it stayed like that. That'd be really rare. Royal, we have another stable. Where is it? Where's it gone? We're actually just going to breed one more. I just, I know it's addictive. I shouldn't, and I'm spending all my money. But I just want to breed that new mare with, um, could go Captain Jack. I mean, Captain Jack would probably do. He's a good dad. Let's have a look. Uh, where's my new mare? I haven't named her yet. I want that Ribicano colour to come through. Onion customer. What a stupid name. So we'll wait for her in a minute. Okay, guys. Let's go Melody. You ready, guys? Oh, gosh. I can't believe I'm spending so much money. I just can't wait. 
<gasps> oh. Okay. I'm about to have a heart attack. Oh, it's a cult. It's another stud. Okay, well, we're definitely going to keep him as a stud. Let's sell a horse. Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. I want only one colour of each type in my stable block. Yeah, I know. So, um, we're going to sell Gloria, I think. Because it's pretty... I mean... Yeah, she's nice with the Palomino, like, dapples, but we can get that again. Uh, this stallion, however, we will not be able to get again. Look how cool he looks, guys. We're going to call him Doctor. 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 Oh, let's call him, I don't know. I love his little white eyelashes. Uh, let's call him Buddy. <laughs> my One of my friends has got a, a Dalmatian called Buddy. And he is the funniest dog. So we'll call him after that. Yeah, I like that. We haven't really had this yet. I mean, uh, he might stay. He might go. We'll see. I might use him as a stud, actually, next time. Do you guys prefer Buddy or this one? This one is Buzz Lightyear. Might change your name in a minute. So I think that might be the same pattern. Yeah, they've got actually got the same pattern. So to be honest, we'll probably sell one of those. Buddy or this guy here. Buddy as a foal was so cute. Uh, let's get back to our foal stools a second. Ah, it's so difficult. Onion, 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 onion. Okay, let's go to the last one here. I'm hoping this is going to be level 10, but with her pattern. That would be a dream. That would be a dream if that happens. Oh, cute, but it's not what we wanted. It, oh, and it's a level 9. Poop. Okay, let's just go skip to Mara a second. Let's sell horse. Um, oh, no. Do I sell Buddy? Or do I sell Buzz Lightyear? We have bread from him already, so let's sell Buzz Lightyear. Sorry to do this, guys. He's a nice colour, but Buddy's also got the same patterning. And we've already bred from him a lot, so... Okay, skip to me. Cool. Wait, that's another Ribicano. I'm breeding loads of Ribicanos. Okay, we will sell uh, Chief Caramel though, because, um, yeah, level 9 and a coal. Oh, it's a mare, but this Ribicano. I really like this shade of, like, liver chestnut type but yeah we can get better we can get better buddy you're gonna be my next stallion but i'm gonna breed from you see what happens ah uh, back to false stalls i think onion is the last one isn't she that i wanted to breed this session we're gonna do another breeding session with just buddy as the dad i think as well we'll see well using all my stallions all my level 10 stallions that'd be fun ah uh, i wanted one really rare one to go out with a bang with but She's cute, anyway. She's level 10, so we could keep her. And see what happens. Um, What do you guys think? Comment below, guys. Help me out, because I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. do, -do, -do, -do. <laughs> so I think we've bred pretty much all my mares now. Is there anybody we've missed? Who have we not bred from in this session? You guys will know more than I will, because I... I've got short-term memory loss, I swear. Um, I just think Candy is one we haven't really bred much from, or Specs. But they're my oldest two mares, so, you know. It would be a cool option if the horse is aged, I think. I think it would be cool. So, yeah, do you know what? It's starting to look like a really cool stable, isn't it? I think I'm nearly complete on this stable, guys. I'm nearly complete. The only one I'd like to change is Royal, because I'd like her to be level 10. So if I can get like a level 10 pattern of this, that'd be great. I will sell Onion, and I will sell Flatfish. What stupid names. And I'm going to breed from Buddy next, I think. So that's going to be in the next video, guys. So there you go, guys. That was breeding all my mares. That was so fun. I'm considerably poorer for that, but that's okay. So yeah, 
that was great fun. We got some really interesting horses out of that lot. So um, I'm super, super chuffed. We have lost quite a few horses as well. Obviously, our stables are starting to fill up. But I do want one horse of each colour. I don't want anything that looks the same. So Romeo and Golden Princess, they've got the same pattern. So one of them's going to go. One of them's going to go. Uh, I know it's Silver Fox Dakota, Vixen and uh, Captain Jack. They've all got the same pattern. So I think two of them are going to go. And to be honest with you guys, I can't sell Dakota and I can't sell Silver Fox. So it might have to be those two. Um, Arias just basically bred a mini me, which is awesome. Melody. So to be honest, again, I've already got her coat pattern. So I might end up selling her. I'm not sure yet. Ooh. Might do a video on just selling horses. Or is that too sad? I don't know. <laughs> Alright then, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to follow more horsey video content. Yeah, it's going to be great fun. We've got loads coming up. So have a great day, guys. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.